And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, if you like hot temperatures like yesterday, you are in store for another beautiful one. That's only if you like those hot temperatures. It's going to be hitting 93 again once again later on this afternoon. Another hot one in store for us. Temperatures this morning already sitting right around 73 degrees. Winds are from the southwest now at 7 miles per hour. That area of high pressure I've been talking so much about the last couple of days still sitting and spinning over the southeastern United States. That continues to pull more moisture, more of that heat in from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's why we're dealing with the very warm, muggy air mass sitting over our region now. That very same air mass is actually interacting with a nice frontal boundary stalled out off to the north of us across parts of Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, as well as Michigan. You can see some decent storms popping along that line, even a nice little bow off to the northwest of us, the majority of which will actually break up and miss us to the north later on this afternoon. In fact, this low pressure system will slowly move eastward. But as it does that, we can actually see some more storms develop off to our northwest. It's that secondary round of storms that will roll into the viewing area late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Now notice there's the bow right there moving right towards the Chicagoland area in northern Illinois that passes off to the northeast of us by 5 p.m. Notice though, you can see more of those light storms popping to our northwest. It's this line that will eventually slowly make its way southward into the viewing area as early as about 9 p.m. or so. Pop up showers and storms, some of which may produce large hail and gusty winds will pass across the viewing area from about 9 p.m. to midnight and then thereafter we actually get a little bit of a break from the rainfall before more pop-up showers and storms redevelop tomorrow afternoon. There will be a slight risk of severe weather late tonight early tomorrow morning with this round of storms. The winds could be in excess of 60 miles per hour, hail larger than an inch in diameter, so something to keep in mind late tonight. We'll reach 89 degrees by 3 p.m., 93 your high temperature by 5 p.m. We may see an isolated shower too by about five, but a much better chance of precipitation arrives late tonight, right around once again 9 to 10 p.m., falling to 80 degrees at that point, falling all the way back down to around 72 degrees overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Crawfordsville drops to 70, 71 in Logansport overnight, Rochester right around 71 as well. We get a little bit of a break from the rain, as I mentioned before, early tomorrow morning, but as we get towards the afternoon, we have heat, we have humidity, we'll have a decent amount of sunshine throughout the morning hours. Those three factors perfect for a showers and thunderstorm development. That's exactly what we're expecting for tomorrow. Even with all the cloud cover, even with the moisture, the rainfall, we're still expecting temperatures to reach 88 degrees for tomorrow afternoon, 86 in Crawfordsville, 87 your high temperature in Attica for tomorrow afternoon. We'll drop off to around 87 degrees on Friday. The chance of showers and thunderstorms each and every day continues. That high pressure system off to our southeast will almost act as a buffer for the better part of a week here keeping any low pressure systems, any cold fronts from passing across the viewing area, which means that hot, muggy, warm air mass will remain over the region, which will fuel that shower and thunderstorm development over the next six or so days. 87, your high temperature on Saturday. Sunday, right around 86. We finally cool off to 83 on Monday. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms during the morning. The cold front finally passes through. will dry out by Tuesday afternoon. Scattered cloud cover. High temperature right around 84 degrees. Look at that. All across the board, though, chances for rain. Yeah, pretty much. Up until the beginning and middle part of next week, we are expecting the slight chance of pop-up showers and thunderstorms, almost like living in Florida. I mean, you know, every, hey, day, you're, every day down there, it's a pop-up shower and thunderstorm, and then about 20 minutes later, it's clear out. And that's exactly what we're expecting over the next couple of days here, where we're expecting periodic times of pop-up showers and storms. Then they move off, and then more to redevelop to our west. They move right back in. So that's going to be very unorganized as far as these storms go. No organized frontal boundaries, no organized lows rolling through, but still that chance of rain does remain almost every day this week. All right, Cameron, thanks very much. Straight ahead.